welcome to the Bolivian Salt Flats. So the Salt Flats is the first day of our next big overlanding adventure, which is about three to four days crossing from Bolivia in the high Andes into Chile. We're taking the route known as Laguna's route, which is an extremely beautiful drive. However, it is also a bit daunting because it is said to be done in a four wheel drive. There is some gnarly sections to pass. We were a little bit nervous. We got the van prepared, but it is gonna be one hell of an adventure and we are so excited to bring you with us. difficult and remote overlanding expeditions we've tackled, we not only buddied up for safety and for a bit of fun, but a lot of preparation and planning went into this as well. First task, get water. Oh, it's so windy. Oh. Time, time to stock up on some food. We've read that the Chilean border is really strict about uh, fruit and veg that you bring in and all other foods. So we're really just trying to stock up for about four days, but also allowing just in case anything happens and we have to be there longer. Yeah, a little bit of excess just in case. Because we are gonna be crossing into Chile after going through the salt flats, we have to go to this building up here, center sag, and get Oki's paperwork because Chile is actually quite strict with bringing your dog in. So I've had to take him get a vet check. He had to get some new anti-parasitic medication. And now I just need to go get it officially stamped. And I had to pay 277 Boliviano, which is just under 10, 20, 60 bucks, 60 Canadian. We are just at a car wash where they also spray old diesel, which apparently just protects the bottom of the vehicle from salt and then at the end we can wash it all off and that just helps prevent any salt damage apparently. Good way. And look we're finally going to get to use these again nice. <laughs> for the cool. trip. We're, we're still working on our name. Yeah, we're, you gotta, <laughs> that's what we're working on. You got to think of a call sign okay. too. So close now. Half five on half local rates, half gringo rates. <laughs> all right, we're all gassed up. Whoop, whoop. One last stop and then we're heading to our camp for the night. So because we're going to be off the grid for potentially up to the next week, we have just ducked back to a nearby cafe. We're actually at the front stealing their Wi-Fi at the moment, tying up some loose ends, messaging family, and we're actually also scheduling the video for this Sunday because we are going to be away. So if we didn't get back to your comments straight away on our last video, you now know why. Sorry about that, guys. And as you know, whenever we are on public Wi-Fi, we use a VPN, we use Surfshark. And the reason we love Surfshark is it encrypts all your data so you essentially your passwords and things can't get hacked while you are using public Wi-Fi. But in my mind, even better than that, it also allows you to do things like change your Netflix account to different countries. So for example, I wanted to watch the last season of Brooklyn Nine-Nine and the only Netflix it was on was Canada. And so I just changed my computer on the VPN to Canada. It thinks I'm in Canada now. I was able to watch the whole series. And because we have teamed up with Surfshark, they've given our community access to the best rate on the market. If you click the link in our description, you can sign up for the two year plan for less than two bucks a month. That's 84% off. And not only that, you get a 30 day money back guarantee if you're not satisfied with it. So yeah, if you are thinking about getting a VPN, make sure you go with Surfshark. Make sure you click the link in our description because that gives you access to the best deal. And by doing so, you also, at no extra cost to you, help us out a bit, which helps us keep going longer on the road and keep creating content for you guys. All right, time for the salt flats. So 
So we're currently driving at 100 kilometers an hour, which is 65 miles. And it is so smooth, like, and I can see everything ahead of me, there's nothing. Um, yeah, it's just beautiful. And we've been driving maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes and we've hardly made a dent in this area. It's so crazy. What do you think? Over there. <laughs> Oki wasn't really liking the uh, salt on his feet, so now he's got some new socks. Here, if he runs in the come here, come here. Here Alrighty, now guys, because we never really travel or convoy with anyone, we're not very good at introducing people <laughs> in our vlogs. But here we have Jordan and Kathy. Hey. <laughs> Jordan, where are you from? California. And Kathy? I'm from Germany. And you've driven down all the way from California in this beast. Kathy, when did you join the uh, crew? Uh, kind of in Peru, Peru, but we met in Panama before. Very good. And where has been your favorite spot so far? Oh, that's hard. That's a hard question. Yeah, that's, that's really the only facts. We don't like that Is this one either. of them? This has got to be. Don't be that. This is a good one. This yeah. is a really good one. Yeah. This is pretty epic. Wait, is this one of them? I gave Aki a bed, and he's like, no, I want to sit beside Clover. <laughs> he's like, I want to annoy Clover. Yeah, this is, too, like, exceptional. I mean, you read about it, and you think you are prepared for it, but... Just like how photos don't show the depth perception of places, here, in person, it's amazing yeah it honestly doesn't seem real and we have a lunch spot to ourselves. Oki's enjoying the sun over here buddy it's okay we're here <laughs> I think he just woke up from a dream <laughs> that's right it's real luck we forgot to introduce the most important member of the family Clover. She is seven years old. She's a badass. She's got this really cool coat. She's not a small dog. She loves bread. <laughs> She's not a small dog. And she gives Aki a run for his money. Yeah. She was getting up behind him trying to hump him this morning, so I think she'll... Uh, and look, she's up and about still, and where's Ock? Grandpa. Sleeping. Although I'm about to put the drone up, so that may change. So of course, our trusty I Overlander also has lots of spots on here. The blue dot is where we are at the moment. That's where we stopped to have lunch. And we are heading over to this island, which is called Island Inkawazi, which is famous for some cacti that live there. And then later, we're gonna be going over here to camp and catch the sunset. Honestly, my cheeks are also starting to hurt from smiling and from squinting at the same time. It's mind blowing. We've read about it, but it's so true here that you just have no depth perception. You know, we're looking at a mountain that could either be 50 kilometers away or it could be 300 kilometers away. You just can't tell because it's so flat. Yeah. What do you think of the fat cacti, Kathy? They're hugging. They're what? They're hugging. Oh, they are too. <laughs> the, Lee reckons they look like Cheetos or cheese puffs. Don't they? Really fat. Yeah. And those two are hogging. They're so thick and... They look fuzzy and inviting, but they probably are not. And Lee, it's not all about the girth, you know? <laughs> those ones are hugging, huh? <laughs> Late on the train. So it's said that uh, way back this used to be giant lake or lakes, depending on the sources. And this was the, yeah, the volcano that submerged, like the very top of volcanoes that submerged. Mm -hmm. Looking over there, there is some volcanic. Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty yeah. volcanic, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my cactus move. That's your best cactus impression. Okay. <laughs> Where's Waldo slash Wally? <laughs> Good 
good boy. Lee thinks that we should have washed our van because looking at it, it is a little dirty down there. But, you know, I think it just proves that we actually use it. And as Jordan pointed out, you know, it's going to get dirty all the time and we wash it and it's dirty the next day. Just like Oki. Oki <laughs> is loving the sunshine and just lapping it up. <laughs> hey, buddy. So Lee, where are we heading now? We're heading to Ford Island. And? Which I'm not really exactly sure if it's an actual island or if it's just a bit more elevated off the salt flats or what. Sounds cool. Hello! Hello! Hi! <laughs> oh, hey, Ark! Are you coming to say hi to Club Bird? So we are just approaching Ford Island and circumnavigating it, checking it out. Apparently it can help block the wind, but it's also a bit away from all the other tourist groups. It's cute! <laughs> Look at that! Someone else has done the work for us. We've been protected from the wind and the dogs can get off the salt. This is nice. Bless you. Salute. Lee, make all Canadians proud here with your lumberjack skills. Right. The only lumberjack who wears Lululemon. Yeah. A Lululemon lumberjack. <laughs> A Lulu lumberjack. <laughs> Lulu. You got this. So sorry, what did you say? Yeah. <laughs> right hand on top. No, you start with your right hand further up and you slide it down as you Whoa, oh. as you swing. <laughs> Down. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Don't hit Pick your foot. Spot that's nice, but... Ooh. Yeah. 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 What are you chomping on over there? <laughs> we were flying a drone earlier. Aki went crazy in the van because, as you all know by now, he hates a drone. And he stepped on my cereal bag, popped it in my. Well, and there's quits went everywhere, which, you know, I was surprised to find those in Bolivia. Anyway, so Jordan's over there lumberjacking for us and chopping some more wood for the fire, as we're probably going to lose the sun in about an hour to an hour and a half. But since we are on a self-guided tour, I had to dig and do some research on my own to understand this mesmerizing place. And the long, just short, is that it was said to be pre prehistorically multiple large lakes that eventually dried out, turned into the salt flats. And what I find really cool and interesting is that it's said to have tens of centimeters up to a couple of meters of a thick crust layer of salt as like the top layer here. And then underneath that is what's known as brine, which is a mix of lithium chloride, magnesium chloride, and sodium chloride swish around with water. And this is actually one of the largest reserves in the world for lithium. So things that power your cell phone, your computer, you know, your tablets, like that's a lithium battery. A, one of the main sources is from underground under here, which is just absolutely crazy to think about. Fun facts with Lee. <laughs> Fun facts with Lee. And we're going to make the most of this, you know, beautiful campsite. We've got Settlers of Catan ready. Yes, these guys know how to play. Lee's probably going to get aggressive. I'm getting ready to be pushed off my seat. Oh. And we're I just want to say, just going to bust some myths here. Max has managed to keep his cool because he's more able to control his emotions than I am. And it looks like I'm just the competitive crazy one on the vlogs. But beyond that, we're both as bad as each other. Good job on the wood. Hey Jordan, can I show off the world your cool home? Yeah, of course. <laughs> no. <laughs> Everyone wants to see what it's really like. She's like running in like <laughs> You wanna give us a little tour? You probably you probably know the house better than I do. So welcome to the house. 
Okay. Okay. Messy. Got the swivel table here. You got the couch there that pulls into the bed. Um, we've got gear. We've got room for three or four surfboards. Yeah, that's awesome. I get a shot of Clover's been really nice letting Rocky just bombard his way in here. So this is a, it's a 2007. I bought it as an old Amazon van. It didn't have any windows. It was all just a panel van. Oh, really? Um, so, yeah, it's two-wheel drive. We've got some nice tires on it, which has helped a lot in, like, Mexico and Central America. Actually, yeah. South America, too. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, full insulation. Room for a couple boards. We got a fantastic fan. I had yeah. um, 200, um, 200 watts of solar feeding 200 amp hours of battery. Um, really only powering lights, charging, and a fridge. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's been everything you need for that, eh? Yeah. I think I especially just love the size of the door. Yeah. Like you Big can sit here and you get such a beautiful view. Look at this. Look at them. Look at that view. <laughs> Look at that beautiful view. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stopped in our conversation because Aki just tried to sneak, is trying to sneak into Clover's bed. Oh, He's like, don't stop looking at me, guys. I'm tired. <laughs> Max, we need to get him his own dog bed. He sleeps on six inch memory foam. But it's not like, there's no sides to it. I think he's pretty happy. Wait. Mm. Hey, it's a pretty good night. <laughs> 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 yeah. I really like how the salt turned into these like hexagons. This is probably one think? of the coolest places I've ever had. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think? It's really amazing. Also, you. the light now is so nice. Cheers. Salute. Cheers. Salute. Salud. 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 One more to the group. To my, <laughs> to finally meeting people on the road. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> it's, it's the dog's getting into it. Because it's been like South America has been a, a, quite a solo adventure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it has. It's been like a bit of an exile, really. Yeah. So there's definitely been times where we're like, you know, it's been like two weeks. We're like, it'd be nice to just meet somebody close to our age. I think the dogs are going to be really... These two. Look at our island and our vans. This is pretty freaking surreal. Look at this side. The colors are yellow and blue. Pink and red. I think I'm finding a new place to say is my favorite when people ask us, you know, what's the highlight of your trip? This is going to be a new one. Jordan just pointed out how well you can actually see the gradient from the yellowy green on this side to the pink and blue on this side. Normally there's something in the way from seeing both sides clearly, but here it's nothing. There's nothing else. It's so freaking cool. But anyway, we're all retreating to camp. I think we're gonna cook a hot chili. I prepared all hot meals really for this trip. So hot chili, we're gonna settle in, get some wine in our belly, some beers, warm up, get the dogs in there. So what are you making? Ooh, well we are making our guests some chili sin carne. It's a recipe from our friends. Amen and Beck. Amen and Beck. And we honestly prepped like all hot meals for this trip because we're like, we're gonna want something warm yeah. to eat. And the chili <laughs> takes like 25 minutes to cook. So it's basically gonna be like a heater for us. Yeah. And my while hands are, my yeah. hands are already going numb washing the dishes because we don't have any hot water. And I'd say it's less than, or it's probably zero degrees at the moment. Yeah. It's freezing, yeah. <laughs> it's freezing. freezing. <laughs> well, dinner was delicious. We forgot to turn on the camera because we were just enjoying a chili and wine and good company. And now Jordan started the fire. We're just putting on his thermals. 
Yeah. We're about to leave this cozy cabin and go enjoy the night sky. It's going to be well in the negatives out there, but apparently yeah. the stars are out. Yeah, so we're going to try to bring the camera out. We're going to try to maybe do time lapse on my um, DSLR camera. If that works, we can include that, but we're excited to get out there. You comfortable over there? Now, we were asked if we could film the stars. Let's see if we can see anything on this camera. I don't think so. We're gonna have to work on this one for you guys because, yeah, that's looking up at a lot of stars at the moment. But at the moment, they're just for us, I think. Good afternoon, almost. We've had an awesome relaxing morning. Max actually got up to see the sunrise and tried to turn on the camera, but it was so cold that it wouldn't turn on. Um, I had a nice sleep in, and then we actually started the day with yoga. Jordan ran a yoga class, which just felt absolutely surreal to be doing yoga out in the middle of the salt flats. And we've just gotten so lucky again with another like windless day here. There's a bit of a breeze now, it's a bit cold, but it's beautiful. It just the whole thing just doesn't feel that real. But anyway, I'm currently making a pesto pasta with fresh veggies for lunch. We're gonna pack up, head back out of the flats, which is back through Uyuni, the town we came in, quickly stock up again on a few things, and then we were hitting the Lagunas route. The Lagunas route is said to be one of the most beautiful and unique drives on the planet. It is also said to be only achieved in four drives. Join us next Sunday as we tackle it in our vans.